so the character king let's um talk about why I think that he is S tier why do I think King is S tier let's beat up on Jin let's beat up on Jin Kazama I guess this is a good stage You're getting closer and closer, Eric. -y. You're definitely getting closer. That was a good set. Okay, so you guys, um, if you think King is S tier, let me see one. If you think he's not, let me see two. Go. It's King S tier. <laughs> he's not s tier okay okay a lot of um a lot of ones i see a couple trolls threes seems like a a good mix a really good mix but there's definitely more ones than twos but <clears throat> i think that this character is s tier because he has really good everything except for low attacks when you have good everything except low attacks your character is automatically s tier right <laughs> but what is everything though let's talk about punishment for starters you can't be s tier without good punishment in my opinion king um his 10th frame has pretty good reach pretty good damage 1 2 22 a lot of other characters jab for 10 frames they don't really do that much damage now machine is there an exception because there is knocked down and it hurts about the same but 1 2 with plus enough frames to get like an unavoidable down forward 2 which is one of the best moves in the game he has a excellent excellent negative 12 and 13 or even 14 frames standard punisher and back one two look at that 33 points and the range on it is ridiculous he can punish stuff that a lot of other characters with 12 frame punishers can't because his back one has a lot of range the only problem with back one is that you know it has a really 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 high hitbox it's super high but punishment um he has a 14 frame crouch you know while standing 2-2 two, two, 36 and it's plus enough to get a free like unavoidable forward two by most characters if you have a, a, a backswing blow then of course you can get around it but on hit you have to respect that forward two right there and that means you have to respect like the run up giant swing run up shining wizard what have you and even down four, it hits from way over here. Character can't even do anything but block or get hit. Plus that down four is gonna be safe. But anyways, you said the back one is steppable, yeah. Back one is definitely steppable, but it has a lot of uses. Look at what it does on counter hit, guys. It gets a pretty good combo. It can get 69. He can even get in the 70s depending on what you do but a 12 frame counter hit launcher like that that is that is godlike but back to punishment he has something for almost every frame he has a chunky while standing forward for blocking like lows or moves that leave and crouch that only like negative 13 so he gets 20 damage pretty pretty handy uh plus frames afterwards and like i said for while standing uh two two that's for your negative 14s like paul's um cool circle four three but here's where king is really really great at his negative 15 punisher from crouch is astounding full crouch down forward two is the longest range 
15 frame punish from crouch in the game. No one else has a 15 frame launcher that goes this far. So if a character has a low or even a mid that recovers crouching and it's negative 15, full crouch down for a two is gonna hit. No one else can say that. No other character. Such such good range. Look at how far that is. That's like three character spaces away. So he has out of a five, I would say about a four in punishment. Because um he doesn't have like a launching 14 framer. He has to go for back one two from negative twelve all the way to fourteen. But that's fine because a lot of other characters don't have that. Like there's no chance for him to launch like a block down for a two from Jack as negative 14. But getting 33 damage in a mix up is good enough. Now with punishment, that's another category, part of the everything that I was talking about. He has really good with punishment. You guys just saw me showcasing um, back one's range. Look at that. If there's someone's like whiffing a while standing four or something like that, and you're close by, back one, two, nine times out of ten. If you do it fast enough, it will punish it. He also has one of the other better whip punishers in the game in 421. It also has a lot of range. Punishes a lot of things on whiff. And of course, you see 37 points of life. Someone is whiffing with their back against the wall. That is like every King player's dream. Like, please whiff with your back against the wall. Give me this easy 70 plus damage. <laughs> 77 for two, yeah. He has all of that. And of course, he does have the proverbial hop kick. That is a good, like, easy sidestep punish. He has sidestep two. Stay buffed in season two. Make it a launcher easy will punish he has quite a few and if you really want to go big or go home he has the atlas hammer which also has a lot of range so he has a lot of like high range punishers and at max range is really hard to punish the atlas hammer you get a um, high class launcher really really good damage in the upper 70s so with punishment I would say it's about a four out of five because most of his whiff punishers are knockdowns or they do a lot of damage or the launchers so I think that is great and yeah Atlas Hammer does high and mid crush it crushes some mids guys so yeah he excels at punishment that is one area he excels at whiff punishment that's two areas all right, so what about his offense? Does he excel in offense, guys? The answer is yes. His offense is really, really good because he has a lot of moves that are plus, like even in neutral. Like, um, let me see. He has forward um, one plus four, chest bump. It's actually a plus three on block, which gives an almost unavoidable down forward two. Now, if the opponent does like a down one, like a, a crouch jab or a standing one, that's 10 frames, it's gonna trade. And if it trades, King can do another down forward two on that trade before the opponent can get another jab out. Did you guys know that? Let me show you. Yeah, so that's just one of the things. Just one of the many moves he has some plus frames. <laughs> Yo, uh, Snipe, maybe one day, maybe one day if you guys have like a swagged out tournament, I can show up. All right, so look at this. I'm just gonna mash down for it too. Let's play this. See, I'm trying to jab. Can't get the jab out. And plus, you know, down for it too. 
I'm gonna have to talk about that move in detail once I release my uh, top 10 moves for King video. Be on the lookout for that, guys. But anyways, that's just one move. He has um, another move in um, high drop kick, obviously. Let me see, I was just on record. Which, that down forward four right there is completely um, uninterruptible. It can't even get a hop kick out. <laughs> you see that? Plus, then he has, of course, um, running three plus four, where the opponent has to either block, get hit, or low parry that low right there. Same for this uh, mid, you have to block or get hit by it. No one can do anything about it besides like Geese and Jin. If you have a counter or something like that, you can you can counter that. But other than that, the mix-up is in King's favor. Plus, he could just get up and throw you. He has a lot of stuff. Of course, um, from his down back three low, which is launch punishable, he can get a real nice mix-up from that. It's totally based on whether the opponent respects you or not. You can get a 20 damage while standing four if they decide to disrespect you by trying to attack or sidestep in the wrong direction. Of course, on the P1 side, this while standing four is easily steppable by sidestep right. But on the 2P side, not gonna happen. So, yeah, he gets nice, nice, nice mix ups from his uh, plus frames. And why do I say that? Because he's the best grappler in the game. Hands down. No other character has a better throw game than King. So if you have these plus frames and you get the opponent to respect your plus frames, you can start going for more juicy setups like throws. King is the, the wielder of the giant swing alongside Omer King. One of the hardest throws to like C even in high level it's really hard to see that grab especially if you mix them up <clears throat> yeah not even Marduk uh, I don't know I don't know about a second best grappler it was you know obviously Nina before Marduk came but I don't know I think I think it's still Nina um no, 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 it's Armor King. It's Armor King. What am I thinking about? Armor King is second best because he does have a giant swing. He has a shining wizard. If I can do it. And he has a crouch dash multi. Yeah, that offense is ridiculous. Why else does King have good offense? Because he gets guaranteed damage from almost every knockdown that he has. Like, seriously, almost every single one of them. He gets some guaranteed stuff. Grabs included. Four, three. You know, he gets a nasty mix up he can go for a free alley kick if he wants to but if they get up four two one combos so you do the man 38 plus 37 that's a big chunk of health already gone it's more than a combo and of course he has a uh, running three but it's a guaranteed um four 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 afterwards like his offense is ridiculous and he has so many setups. So, so many setups. Look at that. <laughs> he can um, do cross ups from his grabs, like Oki and all that is part of offense, guys. His Oki is ridiculous. He gets a free, like, one sided mix up pretty much. Down 4 4 after Shining Wizard in the air beats every option on Wake Up except laying flat on the ground and down three beat stacks so it's like you're nine times out of ten gonna get a free hit the guess is more on the opponent than you as the king of course muscle buster gives a free back turn three yeah i timed it perfectly right there you can't even back row side roll get up straight up if you get up straight then this is how it's gonna hit then he gets a free 4 2 1 after that. He has a lot of guaranteed damage from stuff. Like I said, up back one, if that hits, 4 4 4. Running three is another 4 4 4 guaranteed. I already said that. Counter hit, 
ridiculous. Push is one of the best like approach tools that he has. So approach isn't really considered when people make tier lists. It isn't really considered as much as uh, like keep away. But King has some of the best approach in Tekken, especially in this game. Like the amount of advancing moves that he has for pretty much every button is pretty good in his own right. He's got a 444 that can count as a counter hit DDT with a guaranteed uh, alley kick after it if you do it right. 442, um, it's okay. But the first hit on block does give him plus frames. So the opponent really has to respect that. 441 is one of the best approach tools in Tekken 7. I can go on for hours about this move here. It is like one of the best additions to King because you see it has the string on it, the white, meaning that it's homer move. On counter hit, it's a launcher. It gets an easy um, 69 damage from it. Um, on block, it's safe enough to still move and be able to um, like sidestep even a quick 13 frame mid. It's a super move in max range, it even high crushes. A lot of jabs go right through him. So that is that is excellent. Another really good approach tool is um, of course running three. It's uh it's kind of easily steppable, but if you get the opponent to respect 441 enough, they'll fall in place and sit there and let you do it. Neutral on block. If I can get it, the opponent can attack as soon as I can. So that's really good. Um, another thing about his Oki, like he has, like I said, so so many guarantees. Look at down for a two-one on counter. Hit. He gets a free people's elbow. And against bigger characters, he can get a totally different combo. He can pick up a down for it, uh, down three plus four two alley kick spinning upper. Yeah, he's he's got it all. Why else did I say that? If you do like from counter hit down for a two one, I wanted to see if you could confirm the you B can plus easily two plus get four grab with the right kick. Because from what, what I this? test, you could get a rage drive due to the recovery time. Oh could yeah, you confirm yeah. As well? Thanks to um, I'd rather know from someone who is tournament trained. Thanks to Armor King there with the donation lengthy description. So. The question that he just asked, ladies and gentlemen, is King's um, kick counter. So that's another great thing about King. But I will I will get into that right now. Let me get into that right now. He um, asked about his rage. That's another part of his offense. So we're still with the offensive category. Rage drive is plus eight on block, guys. Let me... um. So you look at this. That down 401 is uninterruptible, unsidestepable, unrage artable, unpower crushable. You have to totally respect it after that. How good is that? Which means that after his rage drive, throw setups are like commonplace. <laughs> and if they're respected enough, you can get easy um, chain grab attempts. <clears throat> but um yeah so let me see about this right kick reversal ah yeah he definitely gets a free raise drive from that again his offense is ridiculous no I'm starting to be all over the place but we kind of covered his, um, most of his defensive options, but for now, offense is, I would say his offense is like a 4.5 out of 5. It's not a 5 because he doesn't have enough, like, really, really advantageous low attacks. And I think in order to be a 5, you need some really, really, really good lows. King doesn't have that. He replaces it in the form of, like, guaranteed damage and his throw mix-ups on wake up because his best tools counter hit push 
he can easily, you know, run up and get a Jaguar step multi, which is also pretty good, <laughs> by the way. The mix up on hit from that two, which is safe on block. He's gonna get 60 points at least if you go for the regular crouch throws. But um, he has range. That's another thing that you can factor in the offense. He has range out of this world. Alley kick, you know, forward two. He has a crouch dash that he can turn into a wave dash. I'm too bad to do it on this new pad though, but yeah, I can't do wave dash on this pad. He can extend the range of down four by crouch dashing. And the way you do that is crouch dash, hold down and back, hit four. That way you won't get, you know, the knee to come out or an alley kick. You don't want alley kick all the time. But anyways, down four one has phenomenal range, especially when the opponent's like block, block animation pops up, has even more range, which is weird. I don't understand that. Some characters idle stances makes their hurt boxes shift backwards. But when they start to block, their hurt boxes expand. Yeah, that's a little lesson you guys should test out. But anyways, yeah, down for one has really good range. Um, down for two for, you know, for a quick mid like that with so much on counter hit guaranteed, it has acceptable on the range too. Of course, push could have more range, but since it's an advancing move, it's really good. He's got down for a three to cover his uh, left side, which is his weaker side. And of course, 4-4 four, four, neutral two is a really, really long range. Unsealable low. Decent damage. So he has lots of range. Like I said, the best approach, like out of all the grapple characters, is definitely King. And um, now we need to talk about Keep Away. Now, Keep Away is a section, it's a category that is totally dominated by the Mishimas because they have electrics and hail sweeps. So, no Keep Away is going to be better than a Mishima's Keep Away. However, King's Keep Away is no slouch. Back one, guys. If your character is attempting to run up on King and like apply pressure with some slow moves or mids or whatever, back one is gonna answer that. He has a really, really good keep away with back one. Has a really good keep away with push. He can meet you halfway with push almost every single time and win. It's one of the cheapest approach moves that King has. <laughs> and keep away. Because the damage he gets can be crazy. King top five. <laughs> oh yeah, King is really, really good. And like I said, um, approach can be doubled as a keep away too. It just depends on when you do it. And he does have, like I said, he has a hop knee. So if you're trying to run up on King, you have to really, really be cautious. And he also has a magic four. It's one, it's about two frames slower than the average magic four. But look what he gets from it. If you're not able to do four for a one combos from back one, see, look, this is the basic damage from back one. 62. If you could just do an instant shining wizard from a magic four and get that 69, then go for it. I struggle with it sometimes. I want to do it on stream one day in a tournament. But that's neither here nor there. But yes, he does have amazing keep away. I would say his keep away game is about a four as well. The only reason it's not a five is because he doesn't have like a wind god fist. And his back one doesn't have a really, really low hitbox. So some characters approach tools can go under his back one. It isn't that many of them per character, but I think his um, keep away is excellent. And we're gonna add the fact that he does have a backwards Jaguar step. Gets away from a lot of stuff and creates a lot of whiffs. 
You guys have seen me play. I use this move here a lot. So his keep away is strengthened by the fact that he has a backwards Jaguar step. He has a 12 frame counter hit high. And of course he has a few moves that can leave him grounded like up forward three, which is what I said earlier was one of the best round enders in the game. <laughs> and if you're like super big brain, if your brain is like this big, even up two can be a keep away. <laughs> but nonetheless, keep away four out of five. Four out of five. All right, so the next category I want to talk to you guys about is his damage. You can't be S tier without high damage output. And Tekken 7 is a really high damage output game. Every character has high damage output. So what makes King excel in that any more than anyone else? Well, the ways that he gets damage. The ways that you can acquire damage is what will separate your character from the next. King has a ton of ways to get damage. A ton. Coop with the fact that his punishment and will punishment is so good, he can get a lot of points right out, like really, really easily, right off the bat. Um, he is good in the open field, he's good at the wall. Look at the wall. Look at this damage here. If he can land this, which is just essentially a three hit combo for 83 points of damage. He um, has a whole lot of counter hit tools, like I said. He has a counter hit back one, he has a counter hit. 4 4 neutral 1 plus 2, which is the fastest advancing mid in the game. This is 10 frames. Once you hit 1 plus 2, it's 10 frames. Same speed as a jab. No other character has a mid that fast that is an advancing tool. I'm not talking about Ling's back 2 or back 1, whatever it is, or Yoshi's flash, stuff like that. But in advancing mid, you're not going to get one faster than this. <laughs> Figure 4 at the wall. What's up, Obscure? Um. His damage output from throws alone can put him above a lot of other characters. 50 damage from a two break. With a really, really good mix up at the end of it. The opponent really has to um, guess which way they're gonna get up. Because he can't apply like cross ups. I just failed at it, but <laughs> it works on most characters if you time it right. And Muscle Buster, stupid damage, stupid damage. He gets a free uh, back turn three after that. Giant swing, even when they tech giant swing, it's 45 damage. If they don't, 65. At the wall, 70. See, he has a lot of ways. When his back is against the wall, you know, he's not totally doomed like most characters. King can um, utilize a wall jump. <laughs> That's... I would say a grade better than other wall jumps because he actually falls straight on the ground. So the chance for it to whiff and you get launched or wall stuck, it's not gonna be there for King. This wall jump is godlike. Let me um see if I can record it. <laughs> godlike wall jump. If you're close enough, it turns into an unbreakable grab. <laughs> you see the damage on that? That was godlike. Plus, you know, with backwards uh, Jaguar step, he can put himself in the air, in the airborne state, instantly, as soon as you hit the buttons. So a lot of 50-50s at the wall. Like imagine blocking Steve's uh, original raise drive where he does all the punches. King doesn't have to sit there for the rocket launcher and down back three mix up. He can actually either backward Jaguar step to go airborne or he can up two. Up two actually is the better option because it beats the stump and hits it. And you just get hit by the rocket launcher and you can tech throw away from the wall. So, ways to get damage is ridiculous. And I'll combine the fact, like I said, ways, guarantee, guarantee damage from so much stuff. Those are ways to get damage. <laughs> he has a lot of little cheap stuff that you know has never been addressed thankfully so he even gets guaranteed damage from chain grabs if I can do them 
So from a sharpshooter, which is already a 70 damage chain throw. Well, 65, my bad. It used to be 70. He can get a free alley kick. And if they get up the wrong way, you can do 4 2 1. See, if they get up or back row, 4 2 1 is going to hit. If they lay there, then you can even do a ground throw option. And even from ground throws, King gets like some nice damage. It's really crazy. Not not from these ground throws, but the ones from um like face down, he gets guaranteed hits. Ridiculous. Um he is <laughs> he is really almost a jack of all trades type of character. If his lows were any better, he would be. Like if down back three wasn't launch punishable, he would be like easily easily one of the best characters or the best character on the game i think that is the one thing that is keeping him from being the best character on the game <laughs> same for four for a neutral too but um rdc yeah he has <laughs> that's a way to get damage that is it's kind of used as a showboat tactic but it's actually pretty viable because he does have a mix-up for the RDC. Rolling Death Cradle can be mixed up with a Dragon Sleeper. He does get a free alley kick out for that too. So you're thinking 70 damage, then you have to factor in the guaranteed damage too. So you're not just losing 70 damage, you're losing 70 plus 12 or however much the alley kick does on grounded opponents. Um, yeah, so Wall throws are something, you know, really crazy. The, another thing that King has that is um, a unique way to get damage is his ability to, to air throw. A lot of people don't really pay a lot of mind to that, but it is ridiculous when you try to hop kick King and he does a giant swing or a tier one a twist to throw, and it turns into a spinning power bomb. Or if he's just like randomly trying to go for a shining wizard, you try and hop kick or something like that, and it turns to a running power bomb, and it's unscaled damage. It's like 45 damage. That's as much as a giant swing tech. It's a lot of damage, isn't it? So, yeah, he has a lot of ways to get damage. A lot of cross ups. He has the burning knuckle setups. His damage output is ridiculous. Even if like his wild combo enders aren't that spectacular because you know his highest damage options can be broken, he can still um he can still mix up with um let me try and get a wild carry. The down forward four series. Oh wait, I don't think I needed to do that. Let's just try a basic wild carry. So he doesn't get much damage from wall combos. But let me show you the mix up. So if he does down four, four, three, four, it's gonna, you know, weaken his damage. However, it's gonna strengthen the mix up after this. So he'll be back turn. He gets access to low drop kick. He gets access to turn around down three. He gets access to back turn three. He also gets access to unblockable clothesline and moonsault. So you have a whole lot of options that pretty much can cover every wake up option the opponent chooses to go for. If they decide to tech row down three, it's gonna beat them. If they tech row, if they lie there, if they side row, get up kick, spring kick, whatever kick, that back turn down three and back turn three covers all of those options so he has mix-ups godlike 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 so we have damage output is a five out of five easy because he has so many ways to get damage um the next thing that we can talk about is uh oh, that way. let's go rage hey. which is essentially the final thing we can talk about when gauging a character's tier ranking. His rage mode is perhaps the best rage mode on this game. 
Why? Because it increases his ways to get damage. A lot. <laughs> so if you get hit by him in rage mode, you're going to lose a lot of life anyway. It's like any character. But with King, his rage drive is number one. It's the best rage drive in the game. Here, I said it first. I said it years ago. When rage drives were first introduced, so I was like, this rage drive is busted. <laughs> but, you know, fast forward to 2019, unchanged. I am not changing my opinion on that. This rage drive is godlike because it just, it increases everything. He can get so much damage. Look, look at this. So from running three, he can get a rage drive. If I do it right, I don't know why I stalled. Rage drive up two. Up two is guaranteed. He's gonna do two less points than that 30 right there is gonna do 28 points. But to have that guaranteed after a stray running knee, that's ridiculous. It's also possible, guys, to get even more damage than the up two. He can do a uh, late people's elbow and an alley kick is guaranteed. But I don't wanna spend too much time doing that. Yeah, see, they tried to get up. And it was guaranteed. So it's even more than that uh, 28 damage. Raise drive, guaranteed from up back two. And of course it can be done. It can be done in a combo, obviously. Still guaranteed, even at the wall. Um, he can do it out in the open, obviously, from a tailspin. And raw, it's a big, big launcher. So he can get a lot of damage from it. Let me, let me go for the simplest thing. That combo is so difficult at times. Look at this, that's a three hit combo, 84. <laughs> a three hit, 84 damage combo from Rage Drive. And of course, like I said, on block plus eight, the only weakness to King's Rage Drive is really when it's done out in the open, because it's pretty steppable. It's a linear Rage Drive for the most part. But other than that, it just, it buffs all of his, like, Oki, it buffs everything. It almost forces the opponent to get up every time. And this three piece, who could forget that? That turns counter hit push into an S tier move. When King is in rage mode, you can't afford to challenge this. If you do, you know, it's either you or him. It's hard to counter something that's 10 frames in mid with this kind of range. So getting that, that is a 72 damage altogether. <clears throat> Three piece, so. Yeah, and like I said, rage mode, best rage mode, why? Damage increase. That goes for grabs too, ladies and gentlemen. A 50 damage grab turns into a 55 damage grab. Let me see if I can get this uh, kick afterwards. I don't think I can get it. My time is too bad, but a guaranteed kick after it too. Look at that, 19 points plus 55. You guys do the math. If they lie there, it's a little bit less, probably 15 points. But all of this stuff adds up. Forward three into the DDT gets a buff. 41 plus a rage buffed alley kick. Look at Tombstone. Originally 58 damage, 63. So you guys can imagine like why I would say this character is like the sole owner of the best rage mode in Tekken. <laughs> he does. Because when your grabs get a rage buff too, you are super buff. Super, super duper buff. Let me see. How much is a giant swing in rage? I can rest my case after this. 77. That's just absurd. If you get hit by a stray, um, one plus two, three at the wall. Let me see if I can go for it. Easy stuff. 90. This character hurts. A lot. And let's um, also talk about his rage art. His rage art is one of the better ones in the game, mainly because it has a whole lot of range. 
Look at the range on it. I was about four character spaces away. So he has a really, really nice whiff punisher in rage. If the opponent wants to do something crazy from far away, rage art is gonna hit. Look at the range. I stepped back another character space for that one. And at the wall, alley kick is guaranteed. So, unlike other rage arts, King gets guaranteed damage at the wall. You can't beat that, guys. You just can't beat that. So, all in all, rage mode out of five. It's a five. It's a it's a ten out of five, really. So, King S tier. Hope you guys like the uh, explanation. Let me try and remember the categories. His offensive categories as in like approach his um oki his plus frames all are like great really great five out of fives in all categories in that the only thing that is bad like i said is his low attacks his low attacks aren't that good but he makes up for it with his throw game and his 50 50s and his pressure after he touches you and his um defense Really, really good punishment, like standing there and crouching. Really, really good whiff punishment. You know, moves like forward two one and full crouch down forward two, back one two. Wow, really nice. Keep away, um, counter hit back one, magic four. Um, meeting them halfway with the push, and even Atlas Hammer and Hop Kick. Those are really good options for keep away too. So, yeah, damage. High damage I put higher than a lot of other characters because he has grabs he gets guaranteed damage from everything <laughs> and of course rage mode best rage mode in the game he just excels in a lot of categories king is S tier ladies and gentlemen he really is